you've probably heard people say that Fire TV devices are always listening. But that statement needs context, because it's not true for every Fire TV device. So today, I want to clear this up properly. What does listen and what doesn't? and how to make sure your setup is as private as possible. If privacy matters to you, even just a little bit, tap like. This is one of those videos that all Fire TV owners need to watch. Let's separate two things that constantly get mixed together. First, Fire TV devices with hands-free Alexa like the Fire TV Cube or some Fire TV Smart TVs. These devices have microphones built into the device itself. They are always passively listening locally for the wake word. That part is documented, expected and openly stated. Now a Fire TV stick with an Alexa voice remote works differently. The remote does not listen for a wake word. Its microphone is only powered while the microphone button is physically pressed. No button press means no microphone activity. And that distinction matters. If this is already clearing things up, comment remote below. I want to see how many people have heard this explained properly. Now, this is the question that everyone asks. For Fire TV sticks and other non-hands-free devices, there is no evidence that the voice remote listens or records audio unless the button is pressed. And this isn't just Amazon saying it, you can verify it yourself. If the remote were passively listening, you would see accidental or background recordings appear in your voice history. On Fire TV stick setups, those recordings only appear when the button is pressed. I've checked this myself and that's exactly what happens. If you want straight, no drama explanations like this, hit subscribe. That's what this channel is all about. When you do press the microphone button, your voice command is recorded, sent to Amazon's servers for processing and stored in your account. Those recordings can include the command itself, partial phrases, or anything picked up during that button press. This is not hidden. Amazon gives you access to every one of those recordings. So the privacy question isn't, is my remote secretly listening all the time? It's what happens when I press the button and what do I do with the data afterwards? Pause the video if you need to. The next part is where you actually take control. Now, a quick side note, because this always comes up, even though a VPN doesn't stop Alexa recording after you press the button, it does protect everything else moving across your network. I personally use NordVPN, especially on streaming setups, because it encrypts your connection hides your IP and stops your ISP seeing what your devices are doing. It's not a magic privacy switch, but it's a solid layer of protection. I'll leave my NordVPN link below if you want to check it out. Let's deal with control correctly. With a Fire TV stick, the microphone only activates when you press the button. Control comes down to when you use it and how you manage stored recordings. As we know, there is no always on mic to mute on the remote itself. If you're using a hands-free TV device, there is a microphone mute button. Now pressing it physically disconnects the microphones and usually shows a red indicator light. That is your day-to-day -day privacy switch. And of course, unplugging the device is the only true off state. If this section helped you understand your setup, hit like. It really helps this video reach the right people. Now, here is the important part. Because most guides do get this wrong. Open the Alexa app or go to your Amazon account online. 
If you're using the app, tap the menu at the bottom, then go to Alexa Privacy, then review voice history. If you're viewing your account online, go to Manage your content and devices, Privacy Settings, Alexa Privacy, then review voice history. From there, you can see every recording, listen to them, delete individual ones or delete everything. Now here's the part most people miss. Go back one level to manage your Alexa data, open voice recordings, then select choose how long to save recordings. You'll see an option that says don't save recordings. When you select that and confirm any existing voice recordings are deleted, new voice recordings are no longer stored in your account, and nothing appears in review voice history going forward. Alexa will still briefly process audio after activation so it can respond. That part is unavoidable, but nothing is kept. This is the closest you can get to completely stopping voice data from being saved. If you're doing this along with me, comment deleted below. If you want a more detailed breakdown of this with written steps and screenshots, I've put it all on my website. The link is below. And while you're there, take a look around unboxed.tech. That's where I post step-by-step -step walkthroughs tutorials and news for all of your streaming devices, not just Fire TV. So the takeaway is simple. Fire TV devices don't all behave the same way. Hands-free Fire TV devices listen for a wake word and Fire TV stick remotes do not. And while voice commands always require brief processing, you can stop Amazon from storing your voice recordings completely. If you don't want any voice history kept, use the button only when needed, set don't save recordings in Alexa privacy, or mute or unplug your hands-free devices. Understanding which device you own and which setting actually controls storage is what protects your privacy. This video isn't about fear or for clickbait, it's about control. You get to decide when voice features are used and whether recordings are ever saved. If this helped, like the video, subscribe for more and share it with someone who still thinks all Fire TV remotes are always listening. Your living room should feel private, let's keep it that way. If you want direct help with your Fire Stick, access to content I can't post publicly, or priority replies, check out my channel memberships. Members get into my private chat group where I answer questions personally. Just tap the join button below this video. Make sure you subscribe for more streaming tips and device guides. Give me a follow over on X and TikTok and check out the Tan Does Tech YouTube channel for more streaming tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.